Hello everyone and welcome to Pixmux. Today I don't have a tutorial for you. I have nothing like that. Today I'm just going to discuss OBS, what it's used for, how you can use it. Uh, can you use it in an educational environment? Can you use it for your own podcast? Can you use it for your own streaming? The answer to that is yes to all three of those as well as much more. Before I get too deep into this, I would like to tell you a little bit about my experience with OBS. Now I've been using OBS for about four or five years now in both a professional capacity and just as a hobby like this video and this channel here. I've used OBS to stream educational events, graduations, plays, sports events. Um, it's a fantastic product and even better than that, it's free. So you can go and get OBS and just download it from the website at any time and play around with it. You don't have to worry about paying costs or trials or canceling trials. Just go out there and give it a shot. OBS could also be used for recording tutorials for your business. You could show people what the process is for inventory or surplus or intake of equipment. It's a very handy tool to create and archive videos. It can be used as a screen recorder. The options are almost endless with OBS. And if you feel like there's a limit to what you can do with it, Go and look at some of the plugins. The plugins can add a lot of functionality to this program. Some of my setups include OBS Studio on a computer, a laptop, a desktop, or whatever, and a Blackmagic A10 Mini or a Blackmagic Extreme. Uh, you can use any kind of video switcher. The current switcher I have right now with OBS is Feel World Live Pro L1. I find it's a fantastic product and I've been using it now for two videos and I haven't had any complaints or any hiccups, which is fantastic. You should go out and take a look at OBS at some point. I'm no way affiliated with OBS. I just think that they do a fantastic job offering support, updating the software, and the community is really helpful with expanding your knowledge of OBS. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube, some of which I've created, and you can always look for those on my channel. I'm not gonna push those on you at this time. But please go out, check it out. If there's something that you're looking to do and create your audio or video production or just some tutorials for your school. Uh, educational tutorials are fantastic with this product. You can also use OBS within a Zoom meeting, believe it or not. You can use it as a virtual camera. So anything that you pump out of OBS, you can actually push into Zooms, Microsoft Teams, or any other sharing software such as webex i appreciate your time and thanks for listening to me ramble for today if there's something that you'd like to hear or an opinion that you'd like of mine or any kind of things that you really want me to research and give you guys an overview of please post them below until next time 